Uh, moving on to our next uh, set of speakers. Uh, we, we, we have two speakers uh, up next uh, for the topic, what does health sound like? Music therapy for concurrent disorders. Uh, we have our music therapists, Kevin Kirkland and also Shannon Nesbitt. Um, Kevin is a music therapist at the Burnaby Center for Mental Health and Addiction, specializing in music therapy as treatment for mental health and substance use issues and concurrent disorders. He holds a PhD in the use of creative arts for people who have experienced childhood sexual abuse. Um, thanks for joining us, Dr. Kirkland. Um, up, and with him is uh, Shannon Nesbitt. Shannon is a graduate of the music therapy program at Capilano University. She also holds a bachelor's and master's degree in music. Uh, Shannon has been working at BCMHA for seven years. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be here with you all today. Um, uh, we're here to examine the question, what does health sound like? And we're going to be looking at this um, through the lens of music therapy for complex concurrent disorders. And music therapy is a form of therapy that uses music experiences and the client-therapist relationship for the purpose of therapeutic change. So in, in trying to answer the question that we posed today, what does health sound like? We felt that it would be really important to look at um, our client's perspective um, and hear about the experiences uh, in music therapy as part of their recovery. Uh, so we prepared a very short video for you today. And it's important to mention as we show this video that all the clients who participated in making this video provided their informed consent. the inspiration for to better myself to get ahead um yeah it moves me ahead it gets you on your toes right that's what music does for me because i find music is a form of therapy on me it helps me psychologically and emotionally get through stuff and it's also like i said one of my like my biggest passion in life is music and visual art I, uh, I engaged as much as I possibly could and it really enriched my experience here. It made this place a lot more bearable um, because there's always that to look forward to. Music is always, would always help me in sobriety, right? Like, uh, uh, even when I was a teenager, if I didn't want to drink or smoke pot with people and go to a party or whatever, I'd stay home and play music, I'd play guitar. Mainly that I'd have something productive and creative to occupy my free time with, and my mind wouldn't get idle, and I wouldn't be bored. It's just a, it's a beautiful thing, right? You know, sometimes my eyes just open up, I'm like ah, I don't know, it's like, you know, can I breathe a sigh of relief because I found something to calm my schizophrenia. Actually. Oh, so what is it about music? Well, one thing is that it's uh, an expressive outlet. And clients have a means of expressing feelings, thoughts that sometimes verbal levels challenge them with. The buy-in, um, our clients are often really enthusiastic about the music therapy programming offered at the Burnaby Center. Um, and that can actually encourage them to enter treatment or stay in treatment if they're already here. We also find that it offers a lower barrier to participation uh, for clients who have cognitive impairment, or fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. Music is a means for them to engage. It's creative and fun, and fun is such an important part of what we do. Recovery is really hard work, and finding the space to simply enjoy yourself can be really therapeutic. We also find that music offers a humanizing experience to recovery. It makes uh, for sometimes finding beauty in, in what can be a really tough experience. And then finally, community and connection. And this is something that we see happening naturally and inherently through music making. Um, the experience brings people together and creates connections that are a crucial part of healing and recovery. A question we often get is, what do you guys do? What, is, what does a music therapist do? And so here are some of the programs that we offer. So the first one, Sing Along, is kind of exactly what you, most people would expect when they, when they hear about music therapy, but it really ties into this, you know, the community and connection that I just mentioned. It really helps the clients feel connected to each other. In songwriting programs, clients have an opportunity to write 
lyrics about their recovery process and to record them. And then in our More Than Words group, uh, this is a lyric discussion group where we bring an offering of a song often that relates to addiction and recovery um, and then discuss the lyrics with clients. Express Yourself is a creative arts based program that I run with the therapeutic recreation staff and it, it's based on self-esteem building and recovery insights. Uh, intuitive music is um, the client's opportunity to participate a lot in the music making. This is based in improvisation. So clients of any skill level or experience level in music making can participate. We also run a group for adverse childhood experiences where the clients can begin to understand how childhood influences impact their later mental health and addictions challenges. And we use music in the creative arts because of current research on the value of engaging the limbic system and uh, nonverbal means and uh, safe containers for expression of feelings. Um, music as a resource is where we get the opportunity to put, help clients connect with uh, music to use personally and also engage in discussions with them around how to use music proactively to impact their mood. In rapid recovery, we took uh, a client interest. So many clients are so keen on rap that we thought, why not harness that enthusiasm and turn it into rap and recovery where clients write lyrics uh, about their recovery process. And then recording studio is for all those clients who are maybe not necessarily wanting to rap, but maybe play guitar or sing over a karaoke track or read their poetry over a backing track and really engage in sort of some medium to longer term uh, projects together. Here's a quick demonstration uh, of a client who wrote uh, a rap song. This one's using a template to get at thoughts and feelings that he has about recovery. A young man I'll call Farouk, but this with consent, 20 year old male, uh, schizoaffective disorder, many uh, near-death overdoses, and uh, was familiar with writing and rapping, but not with uh, accessing his personal story. I am everything I hate. I wonder if it's a debate. I hear everything they state. I see drugs as escape. I want to change my faith. I am constantly in ruins. I pretend I know what I'm doing. I feel that I can change. I worry about my brain. I cry when I think about the pain. I am trying to see another way. I understand I might not see another day. I say what I better mean. I dream to be forever clean. I try not to think about the craving. I hope to not ever cave in. I am everything I love. Uh, so out of our work comes uh, some evidence building writing. Oh, we published an article on rap and recovery, music therapy, process-oriented interventions for adults with concurrent disorders. And because we have that music uh, studio there, we also published a peer-reviewed article on the therapeutic value of recording. Um, so we're at the end of our time here. Um, uh, so what does health sound like? As you can imagine, the answer to this is really complex and nuanced uh, and different for each individual. And I hear health in the words of our clients that we shared today. And I hope you did too. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you very much, Kevin and, and, and uh, uh, Shannon. There's lots of comments about saying how great this work is and it's, it's amazing and, and powerful work that you guys are doing. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. And we just probably have time for one question. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll uh, open it to the next uh, uh, person who asks the question. Still more compliments coming in, but no actual <laughs> questions. <so. laughs> okay. That's okay. Uh, thank you everybody for joining us today. Uh, thank you to our, um, our, our uh, panel and also to the attendees. Um, I'm sorry that it's so short and so brief with all our lightning rounds. It's just the nature of, um, of the setup. Uh, we'll try to get to all your questions um, after uh, the, the seminar. Uh, also, please remember everything is uh, recorded today and resources and um, handouts will be made available after the conference. Thank you. And heading off to lunch, uh, I think this is a 30 minute lunch break.